hello guys what is up welcome back to my channel okay so I'm sitting in my car right now and I'm gonna start this like video vlog discussion I don't even know I'm actually getting a surgery this weekend it sounds really like scary <laughs> like a surgery I feel like I'm going to something like super serious but it's not that scary um, but it is kind of a big deal it's kind of a big deal to me so I wanted to tell you guys like why I'm getting it what I'm getting it's a cosmetic surgery pretty much the whole tea and just like start this little video off I don't know if I'm gonna end up like vlogging it or vlogging the experience I know for sure I'm gonna like talk to you guys about it right now and then I'm gonna like give you the aftermath like after I get it done for sure like that's for sure so yeah I basically had like kind of hinted to you guys that I am doing something surgery wise basically I posted this I think on my Instagram for sure and I posted it somewhere else um, but I was just letting you guys know that I'm getting something done but I didn't tell any of you what it was and I feel like with me I'm like very open like you guys know I'm like an open book I tell you guys like everything so that was like kind of weird for me to not tell you guys what I was getting done and like what's happening I feel like I kind of wanted people to guess because I feel like it's kind of like out there and no one would really think that I was getting this done like no one would think I was getting it done and I was really interested to see like if you guys were gonna guess and like if you guys would guess it or if anybody would even care to guess and I knew like when I said like a cosmetic surgery a lot of you guys were either gonna think nose or boobs because I think that's such a huge thing that like women do is like nose and boobs and I've talked about both of those things before I'm not gonna ever get my nose done I really like my nose um, and then my boobs, I've gone back and forth on it so many times, but just hearing a lot of horror stories about it and just like knowing my body like rejects stuff sometimes, it just doesn't sound like a really great option for me. Also, I am so sorry if there's sound in the background, like I am so sorry, I have nowhere else to film this right now because Sebastian is working from home, so I have to be outside in the car because I don't like filming in front of anybody. I literally refuse to film in front of anybody, so I had to come in the car and like there's people like working construction stuff outside so I'm so so sorry I don't even know if you guys like know this insecurity about me I really don't um I feel like some of you might have been able to tell especially back in the day pre my like weight loss last year I feel like it was kind of obvious at times where okay should I just like say it now I don't know if you're interested you've watched this video this far what I'm getting done on Saturday is liposuction <laughs> I never thought I would say that I never thought I would say liposuction and where I am getting that liposuction I originally was gonna get it in two areas but didn't want to spend that money right now so I decided to start with the one problem area that is literally my most problem area of my entire life when I say entire life I mean entire life I have been insecure about this since I was lit literally little and I kind of have realized even after weight loss this part of my body just doesn't really change that much and I've constantly found myself wanting to or face tuning it for real because I just like, hate it that much in certain angles or certain positions or just like whatever it is and basically the part of my body that I'm getting liposuction on is my arms I feel like that's kind of like a basic insecurity that I think a lot of people can relate to me on um, I think a lot of women can relate on not liking their arms or especially going from like a higher weight to a little bit of a lower weight and still kind of feeling like your arms don't fit your body or that they have like little pockets of fat or like little extra fat and it just like doesn't look right I just I can't even express to you guys like I, I would literally be sitting here for an hour telling you guys all the ways in which this part of my body has made me insecure and what I've done to hide it and how I feel about it and it's not like my arms are huge like you can see my arms okay but the little pocket of fat the little flubby part right here I want it gone and this is just one of those things where I feel like this is so worth the money like I'm telling you like in older videos especially when I was like my higher weight let's just remind you like this is mainly my higher weight but I still like feel it now and still kind of do it it's like a habit I would literally like hold my arms to the side like I would literally tell a story and I would not lift up my arms because I didn't want them to jiggle so I would literally hold my arms and I remember like getting a hate comment or two like basically saying like oh my god show your arms or something like that and I feel like you could just tell and I just like ignored it and like tried to make it look natural but it was literally my arm insecurity 
and that happened a lot pre-weight loss because I was like, you know, pretty big at one time. I was pretty chunky. My insecurities definitely started like when I was little um, to my teenage years and then all the way into like the beginning of my YouTube career and I would still feel it even when I did lose the weight. Even when I was 134, which was my lowest in my adult life, um, 134, I would still like hold my arms to the side and felt like they looked big or, and I don't want to sound superficial, or have this be pointed out as an insecurity to somebody else, like have them think something's wrong with them or something like that. This is literally a personal thing and it's just literally how my body is built. It's literally just my body type. It's like my arms, it's like how my weight has fluctuated, like there's just like looser skin on my arms still. Like, I don't even know, it's just not a vibe. I would wear long sleeves when I felt uncomfortable with my arms, like let's say, um, TikToks last year, I would always wear long sleeves or jackets when I was doing like TikTok dances because you have to like lift your arms up and show your arms and stuff and you're obviously like dancing and shit. So like I would wear jackets or long sleeves and let me reiterate again, I was at a lower weight as well. So this is just seriously like a long time insecurity. And so I would wear jackets, long sleeves, um, in a few YouTube videos, a lot of YouTube videos, I would wear long sleeves. Like, things like that where, like, you wouldn't even, like, think or, like, realize that I was insecure about it, but, like, I knew what I was doing. You don't really need to hear, I guess, <laughs> more. I think you get it. So I ended up doing my research, and I found this place called Elite Body Sculpting. And I'm gonna let you guys know I'm not sponsored or anything. I'm not doing a promo or anything. I paid for it already. It's already paid for before I even go into the surgery in a few days. Um, but it's called Elite Body Sculpting in LA, and... And I found them everything looked really great and the biggest thing that told me was that you don't have to go under that is huge for me because honestly going under and like death and like just everything like scares the fuck out of me so I didn't want to go under anesthesia I wanted to find a place that was a little less like invasive so this is basically laser like bow suction you're awake while it happens so I thought that was super cool this is like still invasive like they're literally sucking the fat out of you and I literally can't take myself seriously I laugh every time when I talk about this to like Seb and like my friends I'm just like I'm literally like getting fat sucked out of me like who would have thought this would ever happen like I never thought I'd get liposuction I remember the first time I ever heard about what it was was in Legally Blonde if you guys know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about when the girl like is like I got liposuction like that was literally like the first time I ever heard about it and I just like never thought I'd actually get it um but then I realized as an adult sometimes there's things you want to fix and you want to feel more confident because you're only getting older right might as well do things that make you happy and feel good about yourself so you sent them photos because they did like an online um, consultation so I sent them photos of myself and looking at the photos I was like yes I'm doing the right thing and originally I sent them photos for my arms and my tummy um, to see the price for that and everything when they ended up writing me back a few days later they gave me a price it's basically based on like the amount of fat you have they basically like quoted me that or whatever obviously I wish I could do both but I just want to spend that money right now you have to do like a whole thing like a week before where you don't eat certain things and you're not smoking or drinking and things like that which I don't like do anyway so it doesn't affect me and then I'm supposed to drink a lot of water this week so I'm hydrating my skin's looking good I'm about to get my arms sucked out all the fat we fucking love to see it bitch um I am so excited this is like one of those things where I'm not just being superficial this is like life-changing like I'm nervous Seb is gonna drive me and I can't believe it's really happening oh my god that is the tea you guys on what cosmetic surgery I'm getting I'll probably just kind of show you the initial results and then in future vlogs and videos that I make in the next few months you'll obviously see how my arms are and I'll do you know like I'll be taking pictures and all that good stuff so you'll definitely continue to see how this went and then if we like it and it's all good maybe I'll do the tummy and give a experience on that because that would be very interesting as well and if you're interested on basically seeing the rest of my journey to getting arm liposuction just keep watching the video early the next morning good morning it is the morning of the surgery i'm waiting for seb he's making sure the door is all locked i'm nervous are we almost there we're two yes. minutes away but yeah i'm honestly scared so This is the day after my surgery. Yesterday was like a complete blur. You don't go under anything like I explained, but they do give you Xanax and you're breathing and laughing gas the whole time. So I could like feel it. And it was a very interesting feeling. It was like feeling like a saw was like inside of your arm. Like very interesting, but didn't like hurt. Like one just like felt like something was in there, like shaving down <laughs> the chub, you know what I mean? 
very very weird feeling but i was so relaxed um it wasn't hard at all it wasn't actually painful there's a few times i was like oh shit and i would just breathe in the laughing gas a little bit more <laughs> yeah i walked in it was like super nice super freaking bougie um and they made you feel really welcome everyone was really cool and we like you know took before pictures and then I, that's when i took my medication and they weighed me and they did all of that and then i went into the procedure and it wasn't that long and they let me pick what kind of music i like to listen to so they were literally blasting edm i don't know if you guys know that youtube channel like proximity they were like blasting proximity for me and i was like yes so i was like literally like raving while i was getting this done and i was like you know i was feeling good because i was on the laughing gas and shit and i was just like cool so like i said i was originally like trying to get my tummy done as well but decided against it because of the cost i genuinely want to do that soon i don't know when could be a month from now could be a year from now i don't know yet but i really really want to know what this would be like for my stomach i will definitely let you guys know and keep you updated it's not that i'm trying to like lose weight this way or like do anything like that it's just literally my biggest problem spots is my stomach and my arms and i've obviously already lost a big chunk of weight i haven't been perfect since quarantine and i gained a little bit back i'm in the 140s now instead of the 130s and i'm kind of staying there it's like really hard to get back to the 130s you know i've still lost like a lot of weight i mean i started at almost 170 on my diet and my highest was almost like 180 so, you know, I've lost a good amount of weight. I'm at a more healthy range. So this is just kind of like to fix and tone those areas. But I'll let you know. But I'm definitely going to talk to them at my post-op appointment and see what's up. Because I really, really want that now. Because that was such an easy process. But it was chilling. And then, like, you fucking, like, look at the end and you see your fat. Like, in a giant thing. It was just... A lot and I was like okay they're like look at all that we got out and it was like this whole giant thing I was like oh my god um they put me in a compression wrap thing which I have on right now it really hurts to lift up my arms everything come came from the top of my arms so he said the day after you're gonna think I didn't do anything because it's gonna be so swollen they hurt so bad I can barely lift them up um and i already looked at myself in the mirror today like from the side and i was like oh when i took off the shirt like i just had the compression thing on i can tell he did a really good job and i'm gonna be so happy with it like my arms already feel lighter and just like i don't know it just feels like amazing you know this is the result so you can see in the before pictures that are on the screen you know whether it was fat or loose skin that was really just like stubborn fat for me um, even when I did lose weight and stuff, it just like, I always felt like it was too big for my body a little bit. I feel like they really got rid of like the flub. <laughs> this looks so good. I am absolutely amazed. I really do wish I could have maybe done a little bit my forearms, but I would rather be safe than sorry. The upper arm, I guess that's what you call it. They really got a lot out of that. So I'm in shock. <laughs> So I'm really excited to see the final results. I'll probably start seeing them within the next few days or like a week. But yeah, I think it takes a while for everything to tighten fully and to go to like its true form. Yeah, um, that was like kind of my experience. I definitely there was no way I could have filmed in there or anything. Like I totally would have tried if I could have, but like it was just so like quick, quick on to the next thing. And it was a great experience. I would gladly do it again over and over. It's one of those things that I was way more scared for. And then when it happened, I was like, oh, like that's it. You don't have to change things about yourself just because you don't like them or Feel like anything is wrong with you and feel like you have to go change something because it's just really a detrimental mindset in today's society and i do understand you know this is something a little more on the superficial side or something that not everybody does or kind of like has like a preconceived idea about like liposuction like i felt the same way you know especially when i've come like far in my weight loss and my healthier lifestyle I wanted to do something to treat myself and really make me feel better about my body because that's just like one part of my body I just could not deny that I just did not like and I'm so glad I did it I'm so glad I did it so worth the money so yeah that's pretty much my experience I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video um and yeah I just can't wait to start making videos for you more it feels so good to just like be back and talk to the camera and stuff I really miss you guys so much so let me know what kind of videos you want to see down in the comments below I think once I'm healed a little bit more I'm going to film a shoot the drink with Seb so that's gonna be so fun stay tuned for that we'll start the new year fresh okay okay stay tuned for the results on my social medias my only fans whatever you want you will definitely see the results of my only fans or i'll just definitely be talking about it and showing it in future videos and stuff so i love you guys so much i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i will see your lovely beautiful faces in my next video bye guys